Hi, welcome back to Salud Napa. My name is Gerardo Castro. So now we're in the second course of the wonderful meal that we want to prepare for you. The first course that we prepared, it was the wonderful beets with the uh, balsamic vinaigrette and the uh, herb salad. So now we want to show you how to start the risotto and we want to make a, the, I want to show you the ingredients that we want to need. Extra virgin olive oil, garlic, onion, arborio rice, ceja, chardonnay, white wine, sweet peas, of course, the uh, parmigiano reggiano, and we got a little bit of the lemon juice, butter, and, and the uh, lemon zest here. So let's get to it. First of all, my pan is a little bit just hot. I want to add a little, just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. This, this. I want to chop really quick my garlic, actually my onions, I'm sorry. So you slide really, really slow. I want to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit too hot. So just remember, this is onion, so we give you a really good flavor for the uh, wonderful risotto. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna incorporate my uh, my onions here to the pan. It's nice and hot, I usually use well, Chop the garlic really quick. I really love especially the garlicky flavor of my risotto. Let's up this here together. The reason I didn't put it first is because I don't want to burn it. These are really small, tiny dice that I did on the uh, garlic. So let's stir it together. So now I'm see the onions, the onion is just changing color. You don't want to overcook it. What you want to do is just sweat it a little bit until it gets nice and, and tender, the onion. And you can smell the, uh, the uh, wonderful aroma that's coming out of the pan. So now I'm going to add my, uh, my arborio rice, which is right here, I got like a cup. There you go. And stir it. You gotta cook it for about a couple minutes, two or three minutes. All right. Now, I'm ready to add the white wine vinegar. So what the white wine, what, you, what I'm using it for is to give it a little bit of bitterness into the rice. And of course, wine, it makes you happy. Especially if it's Seha wine. Stir it a little bit. So now my rice is ready to take the, uh, I got chicken broth, which is chicken stock, nice and hot. I'm gonna compress it a little bit slowly. Turn down your fire a little bit. Stir it. I want to add a little bit of seasoning. It's a little bit more salt. Don't be afraid to salt because I work with a lot of students and uh, they're really, really afraid of salt and at the end, all the food is under season. So I think one of the hardest part in cooking to being a chef is season your, your meals. So I want a little bit of yeah. freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna let it cook for about five or ten minutes. Okay, so now we see the uh, the rice is being cooking for about seven minutes. The rice is almost there, so we're gonna add the aromatics now. We got which is I got the lemon here. This is a microplane. It costs you five dollars. This is really useful, but if you go to Chinatown, it costs you one ninety nine. So now let's get to it here. Okay. Slowly scrape all the uh, oils of the lemon. 
It smells so good. So add it. But a little bit more. Because this is a lemon risotto. So now what another thing they're gonna share with you is the uh, when you cook risotto, if you make one cup, after it's been cooked, it comes with two cups, so it doubles. So you gotta be very careful if you, you cook for two or three people. So now I got my, my lemon risotto here, it just smells so good. I wanna have my sugar snow peas. Just to give it a nice color because it's all white and yellow, so now I wanna add this, so give it a little bit of different color. And then uh, I'm gonna finish it up with my butter that I have here already cut. Butter is good and everything. So it's not very healthy, but it's delicious. So we see here, I love my risotto nice and creamy. Like in uh, Northern Italy, they eat it really nice and creamy. Just, I don't like my risotto it's when it's too dry. I wanna add a little bit more chicken stock. And also, another thing I wanna share is like, you cook the risotto just a la menu. You cook it and you eat it right away because otherwise it get too dry and uh, it will not be good, good idea. So here I got the, um, a little bit of lemon juice just to bring up a little bit of flavors back. Just a tiny bit, there you go. As you see, when we started, the risotto was very shallow in the, in the pan, so now it barely fits on the pan. So now I'm gonna shave my Parmesan, the best of the best, Parmesan or Reggiano. So now I'm gonna think, another I wanna share with you. I recommend to buy a, a whole block of, of cheese, which is this holds better. It keeps the flavor. When you buy it already shredded, uh, I don't, I'm not really a fan of that because you lose all the flavor and, uh, and it loses all the uh, nutrients as well. So here I got my risotto. I, got, I love my risotto with a lot of cheese. So I wanna put a little bit more cheese. There you go, that should be enough. Let's put this back together. So now I'm gonna stir it all the way around. And I wanna turn this up because this is ready. 